All right, back for another beer review. And today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the North Coast Brewing Company. And they are out of Fort Bragg, California. And this is their Old Stock Ale Cellar Reserve. And this is the 2020 Vintage. So they're calling this one an ale aged in brandy barrels. It comes in at 13.7% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listen. Time of review. I believe, I believe that this bottle is just under three years old. And we'll talk about that in a second. But first, I want to give a huge thanks and shout out to a very good friend of mine and a viewer of the channel, Billy, for hooking me up with this one. So big thanks to him for this beer in the description box. I'll post a link to the beer mailboxing video I did that contains all the goodies he hooked me up with. And he hooked me up with a small yet extremely impactful beer mail that included two beers from Russian River, the iconic Pliny the Elder and Blind Pig, along with this beer and a 2019 vintage of white chocolate from the brewery. So Billy hooked it up. And uh, the reason why I said I think this is just under three years old is because there's a code, probably not going to show up on camera, but there's a code down here, right? And I did a quick Google search and apparently this, you know, this code has the actual bottled on date. And according to people who have deciphered it, this bottle right here was bottled on November 19th of 2019. So a couple months away from that date. So not quite three years old yet, but uh, I thought that was pretty cool that they bottled this one in late November of 2019, but they called it 2020, uh, you know, vintage because they probably didn't have it on shelves until like the end of December, early January. But anyway, it's been a long time since I've had one of these, but I've had so many old stock ales and the cellar reserve. I actually went to a bottle share back in 2016 where we had nine different old stock and old stock cellar reserves. I think my favorite was either was it the 2011 or 2012. Uh, it was definitely a cellar reserve, but it, whatever it was, it had this like pure on maple syrup kind of flavor to it. It was, I gave it a five out of five on untapped. Uh, it was amazing. That's all I know. But I've had quite a few of these. It's been a while since I've had one. And this is, again, almost three years old. And I'm pretty excited about it. So uh, let's give it a pour here. So I love brandy barrels. Anything with brandy uh, when it comes to beer. Hook me up. Sign me up. I'm into it. It's just how it is. Um, as far as this beer goes, um, I've had, again, a bunch of different vintages. And I've loved pretty much every single one. Uh, so, yeah. It uh, didn't look like I had a lot of carbonation. <laughs> you can tell from the head. Um, this one came right out of my uh, darker beer fridge. I had it at 52, so it's probably like around 55 right now. Has that deep ruby red mahogany color. On camera, it might be a little bit more of like a brownish maybe tinge. Um, you know, a little bit of a turbidity there, Dada. Shout out to uh, Dusty Rhodes, um, Dada. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, for the most part, can't really see through it. Had about a finger, maybe three quarters of a finger of this tan head that you could tell there wasn't a lot of carbonation. Um, has alcohol legs for days. It's drapes. It's just like drapes just down the fucking sides of the glass. Awesome looking beer. Let's get a nose. Yeah, fucking right. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Billy. It's just, it's, <clears throat> so the brand is giving me that like dark fruit vibe, like, like almost like a, like a, um, my grandma used to drink uh, black, uh, blackberry, uh, bra and black, can I speak? blackberry brandy. And it's not quite blackberry, but it's giving me more of like a fruity brandy as opposed to just a regular, but it smells <laughs> dynamite. There's caramel and toffee, molasses, brown sugar. Uh, you could say sugar daddies or uh, raisin nets, you know, like chocolate covered raisins, or I like to say like caramel or toffee covered raisins. Um, Werther's original, like if you're speaking within like trying to have you out there understand what this kind of smells like, it's easier to, to picture like the candies or the candy bars. And that's kind of what it is. It's all that rich, like caramel toffee uh, type of candies. But it just smells so awesome. Like all of that. There's dark fruits. There's like a black cherry. There's maybe even a little, little bit of berry. Uh, there's darker stone fruits. But then the spirits there. There's vanillins. I don't say vanilla and oak, but we'll just say vanillins. Yeah, the vanilla and oak's there. And then you get the spirit for sure. The brandy's kicking me in the face. Again, more of a fruity brandy. <sighs> maybe a little bit of like, and I don't say this a lot, like almost a leathery type of thing. Trying to really get my nose in there. Shout out to a very good friend of mine, viewer of the channel, Jeff, aka No Jinx. Is it cowtails are the long, right? Like the vanilla 
is it bullseyes, the ones that are the caramel with the vanilla in the middle? That's kind of what this smells like too. Let me just name all the fucking candy so I'm right, right? Man, it's, it's been a while since I've had one of these and I fucking love them. The only issue here is I think there's going to be a little, uh, carbonation is going to be lacking a little bit. But it might be one of those situations where I don't fucking care. So thanks to Billy. Let's get in this one. Cheers, everyone. Just enjoying myself. I'm just enjoying myself. Let me start off with the negatives. We start off with the negatives a little bit. A little bit oxidized, honestly. Almost three years old. A little bit of oxidation. Getting a little bit of like a slight cardboard, a cardboardy, like stale kind of thing. Very minute. But when you break it down to beer and you're reviewing a beer on fucking YouTube, like that's what kind of things you try to look for, right? Off flavors, things that, you know, are normal. There's a little bit of oxidation here. And the carbs may be a little under carb. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, though. Yeah, maybe very slightly under carbon. I actually take it back. I think it's, I think it's like, like just lower side of moderate carbonation. I think it's actually good. Yeah, we'll take it back. I don't think the carbonation is actually a huge deal right now. Just that oxidation is a little bit, you know, it's noticeable. Outside of that, this is fucking, this is amazing. Like, this is an amazing beer. Um, we'll go body and mouthfeel. Review like I do any other beer. So body and mouthfeel. I'd say the body's a little bit thin too. Um, it's not extremely thin but this is like lower side of full medium full almost 14 percent i wanted to be a little bit more thick and syrupy um i think maybe the carbonation being maybe this is a situation where i'd want it to be under carb a little bit and let that body flow a little bit more because i think the carbonation being you know almost moderately carbonated is kind of stepping in the way i think i want a little bit more flat i really do i think a beer like this again you don't want it to be flat period but i think you want a little under carb i think it's like be a little bit more carb so a little bit of oxidation a little bit more carb a little thin but those are all somewhat minor to me because the fucking flavors are outstanding. The mouthfeel, because of that carbonation, again, more spritzy on the palate. It does have a nice smooth finish. Anyway, I'm stopping about it. Body, body's a little bit thin. Mouthfeel is fine. Um, maybe a little more creamy or soft, but whatever. Uh, the taste. It's everything I talked about in the notes, without question. Big presence of like burnt sugar. There's caramel, there's toffee, there's brown sugar, there's molasses. That all hits me right at the front of the palate. Like it's all of those sweet, just multi goodness without question. As it starts passing through, uh, the fruitiness comes in. It's the fruitiness from the base bear as opposed to the actual brandy and spirit itself. Um, black cherry, a little bit of like a just a nondescript like stone fruit like a darker stone fruit but then middle of the palate that's where the barrel comes in and what comes in with the barrel is again vanillins it's vanilla and oak there's an oak tannin dryness there's a nice vanilla presence and then there's the brandy and it has this fruity you know maybe like berry brandy or, or some kind of fruited brandy where like, you can notice the fruit i can't really tell you what that is but it just has a fruity brandy note so the spirit is present as well again i was talking about those bullseye candies i believe whatever they're called but you know with the caramel and vanilla um swirled ones that's very prominent like on the palate period um and it's a really nice that oxidation kind of lands on the on the finish for me where like it, like as i'm i take a sip everything's awesome then the palate on the finish a little bit of that stale cardboard, a little bit. This finishes with really no bitterness. If there's any, I'd say a low bitterness and it'd be more of like an, it's not really like an oak tan of bitterness, more of an oak tan of dryness. It's like, this is like medium to high uh, dryness, really dry in the back of the palate, but it's not really bitter per se. Maybe a little bit of that oak, uh, oak tan dryness is producing a little bit of bitterness, maybe a little bitterness from the alcohol. Speaking of alcohol, I am not really getting a warming in the chest. Believe it or not, almost 14%. Little bit of astringency on the palate. Like as I breathe in when I when I take a sip. A little bit through the nasals. Uh, nasals? <laughs> through the nasal cavity. The nasals. I don't. I'm an asshole. The nasals. I don't. Anyway, 
Um, so you get a little bit of booziness on the palate. It hides it though, for something that was almost 14%, if I was doing this blind, I'd guess like 12 and a half, I'd say 11 and a half to 12. So it hides it by a couple percentage points without question. Uh, not the best uh, vintage of this I've ever had, but the problem is, and it, it's a great problem, is that even the not great vintages I've had of this are still really fucking good. It's just one of those things where, whether it's old stock, you know, non-barrel age, just regular old stock out, or, um, you know, any of the seller reserves, they've, they're they always fun to try and they're always pretty delicious to varying degrees. Um, I love old ales, I love barley wine, so this is right in my wheelhouse. And then you introduce brandy barrels and it's just like, yeah, fucking sign me up. So it's not apple brandy though, Paul. Peter Bruce is not, at least as far as I can tell. Anyway, uh, this is really good. I wish that oxidation, you know, wasn't there and, and I didn't notice it. Uh, I wish, again, a little bit more of a syrupy, thick body. And I wish maybe the carbonation was toned down slightly. So all those is going to knock this down a peg, uh, maybe a couple pegs. But at the end of the day, this is a really, really good beer. So uh, Old Stock Ale Cellar Reserve, the 2020 Vintage. I have no problems giving this beer a high 4.5 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.5. 4.55. I think that's where I land with this one. It's a really fucking good beer. And I'm thankful that uh, that Billy sent it my way because I haven't seen any of the cellar reserves here in the last couple of years, honestly. We don't get a lot of North uh, Coast stuff. I reviewed their Old Rasputin, one of the few beers I see. I see some of their Berliner Weisses from time to time. But I don't remember seeing this on the shelf, and it used to be always on the shelf. Whenever it would come in each year, you could either get the regular old stock L, you know, just the base year-round one, or you could get the, um, the cellar reserve whenever they would show up each year. And I, I, you know what? Next time I go to a beer store, I'm going to check and see if there's any on the shelves. I, I should buy a fresh one. I don't think I've ever had this beer like super fresh. This is probably one of the fresher bottles I've had, honestly. And uh, yeah, it's pretty damn good. So thanks to Billy for this one. Price and availability. Again, I haven't bought these in years, so I couldn't tell you. So Billy, if you want to let me know and let uh, everybody else know what you paid for these, because I think Billy went to North Coast. Uh, he always talks about, you know, North. I've always said I would love to go to North Coast. And he's like, dude, they have a bottle shop there. That's fantastic. So I think he probably picked this up at the bottle shop at the actual brewery. So if so, what did you pay? Did you buy a four pack of this, Billy? If so, what did you pay? Or if they're single bottles, let me know. Um, I'm not even making a guess. So, but here's another thing to say. Anybody out there who has bought any of the uh, recent uh, old stock ale, um, Cellar Reserve, uh, whether it's the 2022, 20, 21, 20, if you showed up in your neck of the woods, would you pay for a four pack? Would you pay for a single bottle? I'd love to know because I have no idea. And availability, if you see North Coast, you should see, I'd say at the very least, Old Stock L, the base. I don't know about the seller reserves. Again, we see some North Coast stuff, but I haven't seen this one in a hot minute. I'll check next time I want to go to the store. But if you see North Coast stuff, you should see this at some point or have seen it in the past. And I'll tell you right now, if you love Old L's, you love English barley wines, uh, you love brandy barrels or barrel aged um, old ale slash barley wines in general. You owe it to yourself to try this if you've never had it before because this is fucking fantastic stuff. And this is going to be a nice sipper for the rest of the night for me. I can't wait to get into it. So again, 13.7% doesn't drink like that. And yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. So huge thanks to Billy for this one. Thanks to everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. To the next one. Cheers.